Hey, welcome back, 8th graders. My gosh, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Uh, so now it's Wednesday, January 29th. Um, and of course, now that we're finally back, I can't be here today. Uh, I have to be down at a doctor's appointment down in Rochester. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, and in the meantime, we're going to continue to move forward and um, I think kind of keep our plans the same. One thing that's going to have to shift for us, of course, is our test date. And originally, I thought we could uh, nail it by this Thursday. Uh, but that's tomorrow, and that's with a couple days out here for, for cold. Uh, so, if you can see here on the agenda, it's actually going to be next Tuesday, a week from, uh, a week from this Tuesday, this week. Um, and I think that should give us the time that we need. Um, and hey, the good, good news is you get to make up those two missed days, so isn't that awesome? I, I don't hear anyone cheering right now. All right, so um, I just wanted to give you um, just a quick overview of what today is going to be like. Of course, the first half we're going to get back and do that, finish off that last bit of independent workshop time. But it's been four days since the last time you did this, so I want to go over the expectations one more time. And I want to try to help iron out a few wrinkles that I'm seeing from the few things that have been turned in since Friday. Uh, so you'll notice with workshop time here, we have the essential question one review sheet and self-assessment that needs to be done the electromagnetic spectrum um, uh, graphic organizer which needs to be filled out and put in your ISN and uh, that includes looking at a video and um, and then taking some notes on it and of course you have some time for right-sided acti uh, activities right now too if you don't have anything else to do then that would be a really really good use of your time and then of course the vocab words the weird stuff you didn't know uh, you're going to get about approximately half of the class period to work on this. It's going to be up to the sub to decide just what the right amount of time is. Um, but my instructions are to kind of gauge you. And the noisier it gets, the more signal that is that it's getting boring and it's time to move in to the next piece. The next piece is a, a really cool video I found called Into the Universe with Stephen Hawking. And, um, and uh, it's uh, really neat because it'll kind of take you to the next step. Uh, that uh, we would be doing if I were here anyway, um, and he could probably do a, a better job of explaining it than I could. So uh, about partway through, we're going to switch to that video, and uh, like we've done in the past, what I'll do is um, I'm leaving instructions that you can continue to work silently uh, during the video uh, if you needed to to finish up, but approximately halfway through the video is going to get started, and once you do wrap up, then you just continue watching the video. It is pretty interesting and, and has some neat special effects, and I'm hoping we'll, we'll uh, you know, challenge our thinking and to think about, too, is it possible to know everything, our essential question. So with that in mind, um, I want to very briefly show you some of the handouts and go through some of the things that I'm noticing uh, to try to help iron out any uh, mistakes before we get too far into the process here. For the essential question one review, remember you had like that gold colored sheet. It's a, just a one page, but uh, it's on both sides. And um, basically you fill it out as best you can. And then there are folders at your desks or at your tables where you can go through the answers and correct them. Uh, the whole point of doing this is to help you find out what you're doing good at and what you need some more work on. It's, it's intended to give you some good feedback. Um, some of the things that can, can sabotage that feedback is if you don't really go through and correct this. So for example, if you get irregular galaxies wrong and you don't bother to go through and find out that you actually have it wrong, then you walk into the test next week completely blind to the fact that there are things that you're going to get wrong on that test. So the first thing is you want to be able to correct this to see your mistakes because that will help you to do better when it really counts and when it's really, really important. So that's the first thing is actually make sure you go through and correct it. Some people are correcting theirs. Um, but I see some sheets that don't appear to have any check marks on them, um, even though I see incorrect answers on some of them. So you need to make sure that you're actually going through and taking the time. Mark it down. Physically show what the wrong you know show that you have a wrong answer, and then write the correct answer down. Um, that's the best way to learn. Um, once you've corrected it, then the other major thing is you're going to use this follow-up sheet, the essential question one review, um, this self-assessment. Are you getting to got it? And the whole purpose behind this is to help show you what you know and what you don't know. So for example, on that gold sheet, the questions that revolved around galaxy types were questions 1 and 3, 10 and 12, and 16 and 17. That's a total of six questions. So when you go through and correct it, 
I want you to pay, uh, pay special attention to these six questions. If you get them wrong on this sheet, you circle them. So you might circle number 3 and number 10 and number 12 if you got those three wrong. And if that really happened, if you got those three wrong right there, then what you do is you put a 3 out of 6 here. That doesn't mean you're going to get only 3 out of 6 points for this, but it, instead it's feedback for you to show you that, wow, I only got half of these right. And 3 out of 6 shows you that while you're not totally lost, you are on your way uh, and you're, you're, you're getting there, but you're probably going to need to do something to address it. If you have a score between 5 and 6, it means you're probably right on track and you do understand galaxy types. If you get a score between 0 or 2, it means you're not there yet. But it does expose you know, a, a, a gap and you should do something about that. Have me help you do something about that. I'd love to be able to do that. But again, if you don't go through the answers, if you just circle these based on how you think you feel, then you're not really getting an accurate picture of where you're at. And we've talked about this before, um, the most important thing for you is to be able to know accurately how you're doing. Um, that's the key to success. So you do that for galaxy types. These questions right here, 5, 6, 9, 11, 14, 15, and 24, those are all about like galaxies and clusters and superclusters and filaments. Seven questions. Find out where you're at on there. Don't just feel your way, but actually see it through the answers. Same with black hole information and same with UFO and Drake equation. Fill that in and then you can, um, I think, be pretty confident about how you're going to do on the test. So I wanted to review that with you. This one I wanted to review with you too. Uh, this is the electromagnetic spectrum. This is a graphic organizer. I want you to go through and fill in these areas right here. Um, I've seen a few get handed in to me accidentally. They should go straight into your ISN. But the few that I saw handed in to me, um, a few of them concerned me a little bit because these things were not filled in correctly. Some people just went down here and grabbed terms like protozoans and pinhead and wrote those up there. That's not what the video review told you on YouTube. Um, and so either those folks got really, really confused by that video review or they never did the video review and they're just grabbing at straws. Um, I saw other folks writing in numbers in here, like the size of the waves. That is not important either. Um, what I'm going to ask you questions about is, is what these things are labeled, what they're called, like waves that are in this zone right here. Um, those are visible waves. That's visible light. And heck, you could even write out Roy G. Biv across the top here for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Wavelengths get longer than violet. You get into at least three other tip different types of radiation, three different types of light that we can't see. And on this side we get into three different types of radiation or light that we can't see as well. Um, this should be an easy review from sixth grade. The, 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 the video clips that I provided you should talk you through this. Um, so please take the time to go through and actually watch the video clips, fill this in accurately, write down what each of these wavelengths are called, and then put that into your ISN. Uh, the only other thing is um, your, your vocab words here, weird stuff you didn't know about the universe or that you didn't know the universe was doing. We've done about half of these together. The other half you're doing on your own. Just complete the, the form here, complete the handout, and then cut down this line right here. And your pictures can go on the right side of your ISN, and the definition and the use can go on the left side of your ISN. And that, since this is a two-pager, can take up two pages of, of uh, your ISN. So as you can see, today you're adding three pages to your ISN, two from this and one more from this. You're using video clips that are provided on Schoology to help you see what these are right here. And you're using books and, and the internet here to help you find those. And then you're also reviewing for yourself what you know about the first essential question information. And you're getting some good feedback through this sheet right here, which should show you what you know and what you don't know. This, along with this, can be stapled together and handed in today uh, before the end of class. This and this will go into your ISN today. You have about half the class period to do it. Um, I've already talked for about 10 minutes, which means your time is ticking. Uh, the video will start part way through, and if you're still not done by that point, you can just work quietly while the video is playing and then wrap up and finish up as you go. Um, best of luck to all of you, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow on Thursday. Take care, everybody.